class, this is Mrs. Bisseau here to read you your Wonders Unit 5, Week 2 Literature Big Book. Now this week our story is called A Grand Old Tree and it is written by Mary Newell De Palma. This story goes along with our um, weekly concept which is how do living things change and grow. And this story is about a tree that is a grand tree and it grows very, very old. And as it's developing and as it's changing, it is a very important part of nature and um, it helps animals in so many ways. And so we're gonna be listening to the story, be paying close attention to the main idea of it, what is the story about, and the little key details, all the things that support the main idea, what is happening in the story because this is, although it's it's going to be a little bit of a sad story, you're going to learn so much about what happens to a tree as it gets older. So friends, be paying close attention and I hope you enjoy this story. Before we start listening to the story, let's go over some story vocabulary words. Our first word is canopy. The canopy is the top parts of the trees in a forest. Our next word is forest. A forest is a large area covered with trees. Amazing. To be amazing is to be surprising and wonderful. Content. When you are content, you feel happy and satisfied. Develop. To develop is to grow. Enormous. Something that is enormous is very large. And imagine. When you imagine something, you see it in your mind. A Grand Old Tree by Mary Newell De Palma. Once there was a grand old tree. Her roots sank deep into the earth. Her arms reached high into the sky. She was home to many creatures. Birds nested among her branches. Squirrels scurried through her leaves. Caterpillars and ladybugs crawled about. The grand old tree flowered. Bore fruit. And sowed seeds. She had many children. They changed the landscape for miles around perhaps even farther than the old tree knew. The grand old tree lived a long, long time. She basked in the sun, bathed in the rain, swayed in the breeze and danced in the wind. She grew and shed many millions of leaves. At last, the grand old tree was very, very old. Her branches no longer swayed and danced, but cracked and snapped in the wind. Finally, she fell and snow gently covered her. The old tree died. She no longer flowered, bore fruit, or sowed seeds. But she was still home to many creatures. Raccoons nested in her trunk. Centipedes crawled along her branches, and lichen grew on her bark. The grand old tree slowly crumbled. She became part of the earth. 
Today, the roots of her grandchildren sink deep into this earth. Their arms reach high into the sky. They are home to many creatures. Just like the grand old tree. Now that you're done listening to the story, A Grand Old Tree, retell the story to someone in your own words. Now, you should also be able to answer these three questions. If you don't remember the answers, go back and listen to the story again. Here is question number one. What animals made their home in the grand old tree? The next question. What happened when the grand old tree sowed some seeds? And the last question. What happened as the tree got older? Thank you so much, class, for listening to the story, A Grand Old Tree, with me. I know it was a little bit of a sad story, but it's the truth about what happens to trees and how they change and how they grow old and what happens to them. Um, and you can appreciate trees when you see a tree. You can really appreciate their beauty and how much they help nature. So friends, thank you so much for listening to me and listening to our story. And I will read to you again later. Bye.